So hey, we don't say hi to like... YouTube. I'm doing a freeway commentary here. So yeah, say hi. Hi. Hello. All right. So uh, I have a very epic replay to bring you guys, and uh, I'm absolutely shocked that I actually won it. And uh, it's yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah. These guys actually just heard me playing it. Uh, they have no idea what is going on though, so they're going to be talking like completely random. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty much the guy broke the rules of CWB, and he went all out. Yeah, this was a uh, 15k CWB battle, and uh, you'll just see how much he broke these rules. So. And the battle was won in about a minute. Yeah. Yeah, it was Prince definitely Mastodon. um an amazing uh, fight. I honestly did not expect to win when I saw what he brought, but um, eh, luck was obviously on my side. Yeah, Clearly. we weren't watching him play that. I was actually playing Minecraft, so. <laughs> yeah. And I was a monk. But... Yeah, quite different games, so yeah. <laughs> But they did hear me during the fight, and, uh, yeah. Quite, um, interesting. Most yeah, we heard all the stuff that's happened. So. Yeah. Alright, so we're just waiting for it to load here. Alright. So, basically, I'm just gonna show you guys my army here really quick. First up, I have six units of these Sacred Band Hoplites. These guys right here. And, uh, they are all gold gold very um, elite units of Carthage. Strong. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's... Just know, <laughs> yeah, this there is, you go. We, we're listening to this for the first time. I have no idea what he's talking about either. Yeah. yeah. Alright, then uh, behind them I have five units of Slingers right here. These guys are uh, my range component, which um, actually was sufficient in this fight because of the poor range factor that my opponent brought. And uh, <laughs> I also have a uh, ge my generals with my uh, Sacred Band unit here. And then I have four units of these Sacred Band Cavalry, and uh, they're distributed equally on both flanks right now. But uh, yeah, I haven't even started to position my army, because this was uh, after many failed attempts of a uh, live commentary, which uh, didn't work out too successfully. But um, then I also have two units of these Round Shield Cavalry, and that's what, basically what my army consists of. Alright, so we're going to put it in uh, fast forward here. Fast forward is awesome. <sighs> yeah, um, one thing I do have to say about my opponent in this fight, he was uh, very impatient, and uh, I was uh, kind of getting a little bit annoyed, because I was going to do a live commentary, but he was kept getting like pissed off with me. I, I really don't know. It was just kind of uh, weird. He was kind of going crazy in the uh, picking army section, too, and he's like uh, up to one million dinars, and I'm like... Uh, don't fight by those rules, really, and, uh, yeah, it, 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 it was, uh, interesting. So, yeah. Pretty soon here, the battle will start, though. And you can see how I redeployed my army. Alright, so let's take a look at, uh, my opponent's army here. He has two units of these archers, which, as I said, he didn't bring much of a range force here. Then behind them, he has three units of silver shield pikemen, and I, they don't have any upgrades. Then, three units of Silver Shield Legionnaires. I'm sorry, actually, he has four units of Silver Shield Pikemen. Three units of Silver Shield Legionnaires. And then he brought seven sets of Cataphracts, and uh, they don't have any upgrades. Still, though, seven Cataphracts is extremely deadly, and here's one of the places he broke the rules. And uh, yeah. the major rule breaker was these uh, war elephants right here. And these are the armored elephants, and these guys are insane so uh yeah, yeah this was epic. such a pain and uh problem with these guys they even have archers on top of them that just shoot you and it's a pain so yeah i don't believe yeah, I've ever you brought still you beat guys them yeah i don't believe i've ever brought you guys a fight where i've uh fought war elephants so yeah maybe a treat for you guys all right so he launches an early cav attack on my slingers but it's not going to work because i'm going to retreat back and move up my phalanx and uh yeah all right so anything you guys have to say no. No. Just that. Pretty it was much very just sad cut us off right fast. there. Yeah. All right. So here I'm actually going to uh, run up and hopefully catch his cavalry, but he is once again able to pull away, and he's kind of annoying me now because he keeps killing a few of my men every so often. Uh, one mistake he is doing though, he is uh, using flame arrows, which uh, aren't really hitting many of my men. Here I'm gonna finally catch this one unit of cataphracts here because he was kind of foolish. 
and uh, he's gonna run right into my sacred band and I'm gonna drop their services and uh, that's gonna mow them down. Alright, so he is uh, launching another set of cataphracts and you can see that he's kind of launching these guys piecemeal which is a bad idea because when you have a striking force this big it's uh, kind of a bad plan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge in my round shield cavalry first and I'm going to just basically try a surrounding maneuver. He is sending in two sets of reserves, so I need to rush forward some of my Sacred Band. And uh, one thing you'll notice about this fight, it's a very fast-paced fight. It's uh, basically the cavalry engagement just immediately turned into an infantry engagement because we both rushed in infantry. So it's kind of like a mosh pit fight eventually. Here he's going to charge his cataphract right into my Sacred Band, and that's not going to go well for him. And here you can see I've completely obliterated his cataphracts, and uh, yeah, yep. that's just... That's uh, something that really shouldn't have happened because cataphracts need to be, well, they're, they're probably some of the best cav you can get. There are ways to defeat them without maneuvering, but still he shouldn't have sent them in piecemeal. He should have kept on the assault. And you can see he still has his war elephants all the way in the back, but he is uh, going to bring them up here shortly. Um, here he decides to start the infantry engagement with his silver shield legionnaires, and they're just going to charge right into my sacred band, and they're going to get mowed down because uh, there's really no way for them to stop me. And uh, he's going to launch two more sets of cataphracts right into my sacred band. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much see that he's kind of being super with his cataphracts and just charging them right in front of my men. And uh, they're being taken apart. So I decide to start a surrounding action on his legionnaires and they're getting cut to bits. And uh, yeah. So he's uh, bringing in the units of cataphracts that have stopped routing back into the fight, which um, I'm not looking forward to too much. And at this point, he decides to bring up his war elephants right here. And uh, this was uh, something I was afraid of because uh, they are pretty powerful. But to intercept them, I bring up two units of uh, Sacred Band Spearmen here. And uh, I'm just going to march over to them. And I'm hoping I can kind of nullify their charge with my spears, but uh, I kind of figured it was unlikely. It's more of a stalling maneuver. The infantry fight is um, basically my advantage because of the poor quality of the Seleucid infantry. So that's basically the only reason I'm winning this and also because he has no upgrades. That's the main reason. So um, basically what I decide to do is I'm going to take my victorious cav and I'm going to swing around the flank and launch a hammer and anvil strike. And uh, let's watch some of these cataphracts owning my men here. Uh, yeah, you can see them just kind of mowing right through, and he's going to get into the huge mosh pit with his uh, elephants. And I uh, start to worry as he routes two sets of my cavalry, and uh, that was a pain. But I am able to pull off a hammer and anvil, so that was good. And, uh, yeah. So his elephants are kind of being destroyed just because I had spear units kind of picking them apart. And uh, here is his, uh, not cataphracts, I'm sorry, elephants are going to go insane, and they're tossing a lot of his men around. And uh, not too many of my men, so yeah, you're going to see his men go flying everywhere. Always enjoyable to watch. So yeah, there <laughs> the Seleucid general is routed, and this is just going to cause a chain route. So uh, it was a very, very good fight. Um, I, s well, I would like to say good game to my opponent, child. but uh, considering he broke the rules, I don't have a mind. I, I don't really care calling him cheater and basically trash for bringing war elephants like this. But, um, yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed the battle. And that's basically uh, the main strategy on defeating uh, these armored elephants here. Um, basically, at this point, my opponent just left the game because he was kind of upset that even though he broke the rules, he did not win, which uh, I, 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 I find it pretty hilarious. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the battle. And uh, there's my opponent's name right there, Elix. Um, I got 527 kills, and I had 355 men remaining. My opponent got 288 kills and had 101 men remaining. So I just about doubled his kills, even though he brought elephants and a lot of cataphracts. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See ya. Wanna guys, you guys want to say bye? You guys want to say bye? Hello, bye. Bye.